This painting is gorgeous. But why did I get cracks? And while these deep rivets didn't really affect the outcome, let's see if we can help you get rid of these cracks in your paintings. <laughs> I'm attempting to do something different today in telling a story and giving you tips from a painting that I have recently done, okay? So we're trying to understand why we're getting so many cracks and I'm gonna show you a piece where I had way too much paint left on the canvas um, and you're gonna see the outcome as well. Ladies and gentlemen, you have just seen my colors. And let me show you the consistency. Okay, this is Prussian Blue uh, by Master's Touch. And I have added some shimmers. I added a ton of this color shift, Silver Flash, to give it a very iridescent type feel. Won't quite be iridescent, but more metallic-y but really pretty. I don't know if you can see that shimmer. And my all of my paints are mixed with American Floetrol with a two to one ratio or three to one. And last I, I wanna show you my piggies. So I have mixed two iridescent piggies together. It looks white on the screen, but today we are playing with rose quartz and velvet two parts rose quartz to one part velvet and my american flow draw I'll take just a little bit of white for my bottom remember what goes in first is going to come out last once again these are all custom mixed colors i'm just layering a cup here and I'm going to pour out my paint. So as the pr video progresses, you will see that I just fall in love with this painting. Um, as soon as I pour it out, there's very little tilting. But that does leave us with an issue of having too much paint on my canvas. All right, so I want to give you a couple of tips as we go throughout this. Once again, I'm trying something new, doing a little storytelling, but you're also seeing the art as well. You know, got to keep y'all engaged and trying new things. So I hope you enjoyed this type of video. Okay, so understanding that every paint brand is different. And of course, your consistency, your thick or thinness of the paint matter. Temperature and humidity play a huge role in the drying of your piece and how fast it dries. So a warmer temperature with a lower humidity makes for a faster drying time. When you have more humidity, just think you have more wetness in the air, which doesn't allow the little teeny molecules to leave your painting as fast. It is fighting for more space because it is humid. When it is dry, those molecules can just go off from the painting much quicker because the air is drier. So keep that in mind.
so we have some gorgeous rings and fingerlings and all that good stuff and i even like my center not sure we're gonna keep it though but check out that gorgeous um just gorgeousness is all i know to say <laughs> Very, very pretty. A lot of gold. A lot of gold. Even though I didn't put a lot in the bottom of my cup, I put a lot at the top. So I want to get rid of this outer ring. Definitely want to get rid of this outer ring. I would love to keep some of this. So I think we're going to tilt this part off first. I don't really like anything here. And then we'll kind of take some of this off. And hopefully I can stretch this over here and keep it. And then work this area. Got a couple bubbles popping up. Okay, friend, just remember the more paint you have on your canvas, the more paint you have to tilt off. The more paint you have to tilt off, the more composition you will lose. The more paint left on your canvas, the longer the painting will take to dry, and potentially the easier. Um, it's easier for the painting to dry in different speeds and create cracking underneath. Love that. Those cells that have popped up. Now, I have a lot of paint on my canvas and I probably should use a flow extender, but um, I think I actually am going to use a flow extender gonna add a little white really quick to this side I really don't need it but if I don't use it then I'll feel like I needed it <laughs> of course the more paint you have on your canvas the more you have to tilt off cuz the ultimate goal is to dry right so we have something pretty to look at on our wall and if we have too much left on our canvas, it will crack all to pieces. Ooh. This is really kind of pretty. So I don't like this part at the bottom. And I well, I take that back. It's not that I don't like it. But so I did lose my center, but I am fine with that. Cause look what I have. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, we. Wow. This really reminds me of some type of galactic garden, if you will. <laughs> I mean, it's like entering into another galaxy and the gorgeous garden. I mean, oh, I'm just in love, y'all. Oh, my goodness. I love my fingerlings, if you will. Um, it just represents like coral or life. It's just so giving. And then our center here, it's like we're journeying along and... Uh, we kept a lot of our 
cells that popped up in our color and that um, those piggies are really showing out so when this dries you're gonna see those piggies all in here I can see them but you probably can't see them on camera so with this painting we as in me and my girlfriend she actually painted this I just kind of walked her through it um, we made a rookie mistake so she was very excited after painting such a gorgeous piece I told her you know, finish the process, put it down to dry. We'll check on it in the morning. Well, we placed it to dry and we placed it under a air vent. So I want you to think about create your under a draft or an air vent. More air is flowing faster and faster, which is going to cause your painting to dry at different speeds. Now, this is a canvas and the air molecules are going to pull from both sides. So if you have a warmer climate and less humidity, it is likely that your painting will dry faster. However, it's under a draft. You're getting way more attention here. And sometimes that is going to create rivets. And that's exactly what happened. Okay, now let me tell you what else didn't help the situation. All right, so I use this as a drying mat from time to time. This is just a random lid I found at Big Lots several years ago. They didn't know what it was for and they gave it to me for like two bucks. I bought as many as I could and they weren't great. So they have these little rivets here, which allow my canvases to set without touching the bottom. And so I put my painting here and leaving it under the draft or air vent, there is very little airflow getting under this painting. Now, if this painting was under my table, which is where I typically draw a lot of my paintings, I have a plastic tablecloth that hangs over. So there is not nearly as much airflow getting in, so it can draw at a slower rate. And I find that 99 paintings out of 100 will come out perfect every time in that drying space, no matter the weather. Although in the summer, the paintings typically dry a bit faster. All right, friends, so we have another tip for you. These are coasters, um, jars. So now we're talking about substrates that are solid all the way through. So no moisture is able to get through here, which means all the drying is occurring on top. And so this coaster dried very well. I'll link a video to um this video because I used glue as a cell activator. But if you take a look... One tr uh, tip, and this is like a very big pro tip. When you have a surface that is solid, uh, no drying occurs. Okay, nothing is going to be able to dry under here. So you are drying from the top. And I will tell you from a lot of experience that you can get really deep rivets like you see here where the paint separates, especially when you have a very glossy paint. Um, the gloss is going to speed up the dry time. And if all your paints are not made the same, you may run into some issues. So when I am doing coasters or things that, um, can't dry through both sides, you want to be really careful. And your best bet is to try to remove as much paint as possible. So the thinner layer, the paint that has to dry, the easier it'll be able to dry. Um, so a lot of times these coasters dry within a couple of hours when I paint them. Like if I painted it now, four hours later, it would be pretty dry or almost dry. Um, here's some that you can get from Lowe's or Home Depot, very common. So just wanted to kind of show you that as well. Did my painting dry? Well, yes, it did. Now... It took this painting about four days to dry and cure enough for me to handle it. But let me actually show you something. I did get a really tiny crack here. That's the only crack that I got. But if you look in the light, I accidentally set something down on it. 
like a week or so later and it still left a um, noticeable or sizable indention. Now there are some other things that are showing up and that is because we poured over our canvas, but this painting did dry. Um, it took a very long time for it to cure. I placed it under my table with an extra tablecloth because as you saw the wet result, it was just so gorgeous. I just wanted to take the the risk and I am so glad that I did so once again these are the dried results and friends let's do a quick recap so big takeaway here if you have a lot of paint left on your canvas one try to have consistent paint consistencies across your different colors now this is going to be hard depending on the technique like the bloom technique you have three different consistencies from your thick pillow to your pouring medium to your cell activator um, but if you have a lot of paint left for your canvas try to dry your painting as slow as possible. So keep it away from drafts, dry it under something, um, but allow it room to breathe so that it can dry, okay? We want that free and open space, but drying it slower seems to give you a better chance um, to avoid cracking. Also, I don't like craft paint because when I first got into pouring, seems like craft paint cracks a lot more. Uh, you have a lot more fillers and other other things that are working against you. So I don't use a lot of craft paints for that reason. Anywho, different type of video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, thank you so much for watching uh, my content. I really do appreciate it. And as always, remember, family, do every single thing with love. Treat your friends, your family, and even your enemies with love. I will see you in another video very soon. Peace.